California swipe. Every Monday. I was thinking maybe we could just make a quiche mm. out of it. Maybe like a flan. I don't know, something. Oh, hi there. Kind of based on eggs. My name is Peter. This is Chris. Yeah, basically, we're two imbeciles watching seven imbeciles on television so that we can feel better about the fact that we can't really talk to girls. Hmm. This week's episode had some thought-provoking analysis of gender stereotypes within Irish society. Just try it, lick it once. California! Yeah. How do you spell Coco? No. C-O-C. K-J-A-W. Oh, not. You bastard! That's why you spell Coco. Oh, Jesus. Well, it's a seven-letter word, Nikita, like... Condoms or blowjob or disease. All words she would be far more familiar with. Shop Manikita. Oh my god. When they're going along here, it looks like they're on their way to a, a doctor to find out if Nikita's pregnant. They both have this horrible look of worry. I thought gremlins only needed water to reproduce. Look what's on the list. Men, men don't look do what's this. on the list. No, yeah, but you can't where's be that, that, off at the end, like men don't yes, do lists. I pray him. Who wants to be organized? Yeah, sure. Men don't do lists. Lists are only for, you know, women and gay people. There was no list when they built the Eiffel Tower, I yeah. can have you know. We're only getting portraits. Next week, Cormac carries an entire poultry farm back to the house. Nikita! Creating quite a scene. So much so that you will see a woman yeah, run she away. She looks at Nikita, then she's like, I'm leaving. <laughs> Who eats that many fucking eggs? You break that down. It's only five eggs per bloke per day. You can keep eating all those eggs, Cormac, but you're not going to get any taller. You're fucking retarded bastard. You know what? Just shut your face, all right? You don't even fucking talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Then shut the fuck up! You calm down, right? You're 19. Shut your face, all right? You're 19. I'm 27 and three quarters, so shut up. I had a lollipop today at the supermarket. Like, Son, that yeah, that is I don't piss. think there's enough, to be that honest. That is taken the fucking piss off. The, the, the different tones in her fuck mean different emotions. Are you fluent in fuck? I'd know a bit of fuck now. I think we need a fuck montage for the past 10 minutes. I'm a hormonal yes, bitch, and there's nothing no you can do about it. <laughs> I think we're actually watching a woman unravel on television. This is kind of becoming disturbing. She kind of reminds me of, of a cat one of my friends had once. He got hit by a car and... It stayed alive, did it? Yeah, but its its behaviour was erratic at best. It, it liked to roll around in its own feces. I can have Phil anytime I want him. I can have Cormac. Cabbies again anytime. She said it there, says. I was a bit laughing at him. Cormac's a crumb. Watch, it's like a sitcom. Cormac comes out right on cue. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you may remember this routine from our very first episode. Because we're at the front. There's the pecs. Alright, we're gonna go. Now we're gonna see the, 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 the side bicep angle. and the okay. tricep. We've that's that's nice. Now back to the front. Oh, another turn. I am always right. I am never wrong. wrong. You're actually, I'm never wrong. You're always wrong. Everything you say is dumb. Like. Yeah, she's never wrong except when it comes to spelling basic words that you'd learn when you're maybe 10 or 11 years old. It was an eviction tonight and it was up down to you. Uh, Nobody knows just between us who would you try. It was an eviction night tonight. Probably one of the girls because I love the lad so much. Yeah. Which, which girl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We don't have to bother watching the rest of the show. We have found our gold. We all know guys. What? what was Cormac looking for in the press that time? Nothing, he just went over there to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's just picking, picking <laughs> stuff up, throw, <laughs> throwing it around for no reason. C C Cormac's just busying himself <laughs> in various objects. Hmm. Flittering rubbish around the hey. kitchen. Yeah. 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 Hey, punching things. This is something they should be brilliant at. You see, they really should be channeling Top Gun right here, but instead it's... Yeah. Oh, I was there as well. Like. Yeah, no, but I'm not. There's some serious head touching going on in this scene. I think they're mirroring each other. Monkey see, monkey do. See? <laughs> now they're both drinking the. How are you? Good to see you. Kelly, thank God you're here. We need some more hard hitting journalism from you. I had um, a meeting with my column. With, uh, the Intella magazine, which was good because um, this month I'm writing about a topic that's really, really close to my heart. This month I'm going to be writing an article about insider trading on Wall Street. Halloween, like safety around the Halloween period. I was like, oh, give me a chance as well to talk about myself, as mm -hmm. in my dog, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. make it a bit more personal. Yeah. Than just yeah. like, oh, yeah. you know, safety, blah, blah. 
They got this dog in that had been fed like a firework or a banger, blew his head off, and they got him in, and he's still alive. Oh, yeah, I read about that. Well, thanks for coming in. Uh, look, <laughs> we'll get in contact with you about that article. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's about fucking time that we did actually bring some hot girls back and show the girls what we're made of, because the girls, I think, are starting to doubt us a little bit. John, I think Jay and Philly have been having the same conversation for the last five episodes. I don't think they talk about anything else. I think whenever they do speak to each other, it's simply about what they're going to do when they go out. Should be a good night. Looking forward to it. I can imagine the taxi's been outside for five minutes. Okay, come on. Let's go. And they're about to get to the door and... Oh, a mirror! Oh, no. Damn it, they've got a reflection of themselves. It's like a honey trap for meatheads. I love Dandelion because I always go there. I do a lot of stripping gigs there as well. It, I like this place because I, I take my clothes off for money here a lot. Hey, let's try and force every stereotype about women that we can into this next segment. I, I disagree, Chris. This is exactly what girls do on their own. By the end of it, we're having a joke and uh, she put her number on my phone. So. <laughs> her phone number is 000 000. zero, zero, zero. <laughs> For matching pink outfits, of course. I guess this shows the nerd in me. I couldn't care less if any of them get injured during this. I just don't want anything happening to that laptop. Look at it there. Oh, cream. Cream. Oh, whipped yeah. cream. Of course. Because you see, it's like it's like a man's ejaculate. <laughs> yeah. I see what they're doing here. They're, sp they're smearing cream on each other's breasts. They came up with this idea completely independent of any outside direction. Do you know? Maybe there'll be some cherries in a minute that they're going to eat off each other's bottoms. They should have got, like, pulled loads again. Look at Nikita. They pulled loads again. Holy fuck. <laughs> All around Ireland, feminists are sobbing quietly. <laughs> These are like three sexually filthy supervillains. So here's the plan, ladies. We're going to infect the entire population with gonorrhea, unless we get a million euro. Yeah! Yeah!